Hey Cam fam, welcome back and welcome to Keeping Up With Cam. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on our video. If you're a returning subby, thank you so much for still being with us. Uh, we are gonna be doing our toddler boy hairstyle video number 46 today. We are so close to 50 guys and that is all because of you. That's all because you guys keep watching the videos, keep liking the content and keep asking for more. So thank you so, so much. So I will give a forewarning on this um, style. It is not a quick style. It is not going to work up quickly, but the end product is going to be so cute and it's going to be so worth it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. So in the clip previously, I showed what we will be working with today. I am now taking out his hair. I washed it the day before in preparation for braiding it today. Um, and now we're going to work with it. So I'm going to be using the blow dryer. Um, I've only used a blow dryer maybe about four or five times, um, but it's easier and better when I need a style that is more stretched. Don't worry about him freaking out. He just doesn't like the sound so close to his ears. Um, so I'm using this, but it is only on cold. I do not do a warm or a hot blow dry. As you can see, my settings are up, but I hold down that cold air button the entire time. So make sure you guys are a little, you know, careful when you're using the hair dryers. Don't try and do it too often if you don't need to. Um, and use a protectant if you can, just make the process so much better. All right, so we are going in now and parting the hair. I'm gonna be parting it horizontally from ear to ear, splitting it into two sections, and then we're gonna continue working through those sections. As you can see, I'm using my new favorite parting comb. Um, if you guys are interested, I highly recommend getting one. If you wanna know which one I have, I'll put it in that description box so you guys can check it out. All right, so we are doing a heart in the back. I was asked to do a heart in the next video, so that's what I did. So I'm starting off not with any precise like line, um, but I'm basically half of half of his head. So I'm like half in the back half of his hair. I've done a little triangle, uh, like an inverted triangle, and that's where I'm starting off. And then from the top of those that, tr that tr middle triangle, I'm curving it to get the heart. Cam thinks he's Iggy Peck Architect <laughs> um, from Ada Twist Scientist, one of his favorite shows. So he wanted to put his pencil behind his ear. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to continue going through and just trying to clean that up. It's really, really, really important you take your time with this heart um, because you don't want it to be sloppy looking. Um, if, the, if the braiding, if the sectioning of this heart isn't done properly when you braid it it's not going to really look like a heart it's going to look kind of like wonky and it's not going to be that great so i'm using the shine and jam to uh clean up the lines and just make sure it's as neat and as crisp as possible um and the use of this tail comb again this parting comb is going to be amazing don't be skimpy with your shine and jam use what you need to use it is here to help I will say I do apologize for the glare. It is just because of the uh, angle of this shot. That's why there's kind of like that like light burst. Um, but I will know now for next time and it won't happen again. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to continue to try and clean up this heart. Um, one thing that you can do is using your hand, you see how I'm just kind of sliding it and pulling up. That way you're able to see um, like the scalp stretched out so you can see what it'll look like when it's braided to make sure that the line is actually neat. You could do this for this design, but also when you're just doing regular line parting, you want to do that as well. So this is what we're looking like up close and personal. It's looking really, really cute. All right, so go ahead and get all the hair clipped up out of the way because we need a clean work area. So I'm going to split this heart vertically down the middle and make sure that line is clean because that line is a part of the design itself. And then I'm going to horizontally split this heart 
in the middle. So we're gonna have four sections. Um, because of this size, I wanted to have a little bit less of the hair at the bottom and more at the top. So section them off into four pieces, two at the top, two at the bottom. At this point, most of my hair styles, I'm always putting uh, the Shine and Jam or whatever product you're using, like your braiding gel, on the section. So make sure that we are doing that with each section, especially with this, this heart braid. So we're going to start um, whatever left or right, whichever makes it easier for you. And you're going to start in the middle of the heart. Upside down, you're going to start and you're going to come up and bring it down. So you're gonna do this first one as a little bend. You're gonna get your second piece at the bottom that corresponds with it, and you're gonna attach it. And that's it, that's just half of the braid right there. Um, even if you see that like line, uh, like that separation line, that's fine. Um, as you can, you know, it's a heart, so it's gonna show it's not um, like drawing on paper. We have to connect pieces, so it will be fine. Um, don't braid it all the way until you get done the second half because you're going to add them together. All right, so now we have the ends of both of the braids. We're gonna put them together and we're gonna just make it one cohesive um, braid coming down. So you just add them whatever feels comfortable, um, intertwine the pieces to make three pieces like a regular braid and just braid it down. Make sure that it stays flat, make sure it stays um, uh, straight. So like it's not like jaggedy or anything while you're braiding down and it'll be perfect. And don't be shy when you have to add things to the ends of the hair. If you're doing it non-dry, then go ahead and add your creams, your butters, your oils, your water, whatever you want. If you're doing it dry like me, um, try and stick to something like the Shine and Jam or like a pomade because that way it's not going to um, have the hair revert back to a curly state, which then just negates everything that we did by blow drying. Or even if you didn't blow dry and you just want to keep it straight, it's all gone to waste at that point. Ooh, the second love of my life. This is our Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. Love this stuff. I'm not putting a lot in each section because we are braiding on dry hair. We don't want to revert it, but it's not really water-based, so it's not going to do that as much, but I just go with a light amount, just enough to make sure that it's getting through the hair um, and ensuring that we're not just braiding on dry hair. Favorite elastics, you already know, these are the Goody brand. I will have them linked in the description box. I got them at Walmart. They were, I think, about five bucks here, but that's, you know, Canadian prices. They're probably like $1.99, $2.99 in the States or in the UK. So they are really good for the price. It comes in a pack, a zippered bag, 500. Come on, you're not gonna lose them or what? Um, I highly recommend getting them, not the plastic ones. The plastic ones are trash. Get the textured ones. So I add the elastics to the root and then I also add it to the ends. You don't have to add them to either. You could add them to one or the other. It's up to you. Um, I just prefer how it helps keep the hair uh, laying flat, how it helps keep the ends from curling up and how it just kind of keeps the hair neater for a longer period of time. So some fun news, we are actually 62 subscribers away from 5,000. Can you guys believe it? We are growing little by little and it's honestly just so amazing and we're so thankful. Um, we're trying to re reach that 5,000 mark by Kamari's birthday, so that's the beginning of March. Fingers crossed that we make it there. Um, so we're also thinking probably to do 
another giveaway and another live stream i don't know how you guys feel about that let us know in the comment section if there's a type of live that you would like us to do if you want a certain like hairstyle or a certain like routine or questions just answered on the live we can get that figured out and get that done um just to kind of celebrate um you know reaching that milestone with you guys so let us know if you guys would be interested in that and we will make it happen So I think it's been hard for me to realize how much growth Cam's hair has gone through um, because, you know, I'm the one doing his hair every day and I see it every day. So I don't see that length, but this time I took out his hair and I was like, you look like Tarzan. <laughs> like He just has so much hair and it's so thick guys. And it's just it's healthy so we are very happy for the health the length is a bonus the health is a must so i just got to keep doing you know keep doing the good work keep doing these protective styles and the products or the lack of products that i'm using is is you know helping out so i'm gonna keep it up it's it would be great to you know use all the products under the sun but for now He's getting a little bit older, so I'm getting a little bit more comfortable using uh, brands that aren't specifically targeted for kids, um, but I'm still trying to keep it to a minimum. So the back is going to continue on pretty self-explanatory, just like box braids. We're going to just sect them off um, in squares. The ones closest to the heart obviously are going to be a little bit different, but we're just going to keep that going on each side, and now we're going to get to the front. All right, so the design in the front is a little bit different. We're actually going to be swooping inward um, and kind of overlapping the braids in the middle on top of each other. So these two at the bottom are triangles, as you can see. So it's bigger at the perimeter of the hair and then the small part of the triangle is in the middle of the, he of the head. Then we're going to have a second layer, layer of just two and then that middle in the front is three. So this is our oil. It is Jamaican black castor oil mixed with peppermint oil. Love it, love it in our applicator bottle. You can get that at the dollar store, at the hair store. Super cheap, super easy to get. And it helps to just ensure that it's getting on the scalp. Um, I do also put it on the hair if I'm doing um, the uh, LCO or LOC method. So using our soft brush, I am just um, brushing in the shine and jam this is a look at how you could leave the style if you didn't want to braid it um, you could just swoop it back uh, put an elastic at the end like I like at the end of where I would be braiding um, and then just braid the ends and just add it into the style and that's a way to one make the style go a little bit quicker but to also make it into a no cornrow style where you only well except for the heart um, and you only have um, just regular single braids but we are braiding so as you can see I am started at the perimeter and I am braiding inward to the center of his head um, the it is a triangle kind of like an isosceles triangle I would say um, and the the point is going to be uh, smaller in the middle bigger at the perimeter All right, so after doing the same braid on the opposite side, we're now gonna get to our second layer of the braid. Um, so this one is just regular, it's not like a triangle shape and you're just going to cut it in the middle um, and you're gonna braid it inward. Again, we're putting a little oil on the perimeter, we put the shine and jam, we use our soft brush, we comb through, we brush through, make sure there's no tangles, 
and then we braid um and we're gonna do that again on both sides just to match it up this is sort of reminiscent if you guys remember a little far back um our toddler boy hairstyle number 17 and i said it was kind of like a, a dinosaur <laughs> a dinosaur braid for whatever reason um but it's like that because we're just swooping it into the middle um kind of like a mohawk but with this one where we have that overlapping of the braids in in the center that type of aspect um but we didn't have that with the the other one but it's it's similar to that if you guys remember All right, so let's part the front. You guys only get to see like the the quick and simple of it. The amount of parting and attempting to part that I do to get these lines and these shapes, you would not believe. So this is just the condensed like 10 seconds, but this really took me a good long minute. But we're going to do two swoops um, from the middle um, going down the left and the right so we're gonna kind of have like a I don't even know what kind of shape but we're gonna have that shape in the middle and then we're gonna have the two um, braids on the outside of it kind of swooping in um, and then again we're just leaving them overlapped in the back in the middle of the hair so none of the hair is like going back like a straight back everything is coming into the middle into the center and that's what we're gonna work with once we're done the braiding. If you guys didn't already know, we actually sell merch for Cam and some other items as well. You can see the name on my shirt, PJ's Closet. You can head over there. Uh, the website is in the description box as, long, as well as the links for um some of the items like the durags and stuff that we sell so please make sure you guys go over there if you see anything you like we love for you guys to support and if not if you guys could share with your friends and family too because that helps as well On these long video or long uh, hairstyle days, Cam gets a fun snack. Uh, he has a Lunar New Year cupcake that he was loving. Um, Cause you know, sometimes apples and oranges aren't gonna cut it. So I get to be, you know, the good guy for once and give him a nice snack. Uh, all right, so after that, I'm gonna add again my oil mixture. Um, he's a little happy there because I was telling him that this is the last braid he'd been asking me <laughs> um, So I add the oil now. I'm adding the shine and jam again. Don't be shy with the shine and jam I don't know about all products, but with shine and jam I add as much as necessary Because it does not flake it doesn't uh, crunch the hair. It doesn't dry up the hair i don't have any hair loss it literally helps braid keeps it together and keeps it looking neat and then it kind of just like melts into the hair and like disappears like it was never there so i love 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 this product for braiding his hair at this age when he gets older i'll probably use something else but for right now it does the job amazing all right so we're braiding this last one in and then we're going to uh, work with the ends of the hair once we're done If you're not already, please head over to our Instagram at Keeping Up With Cam. Give us a follow, give us some likes, share us with your family and friends. Let's keep the love going, guys.
All right, so we are putting in our Kusa 100% Indian Hemp Hair and Scalp Treatment. Absolutely love this stuff. I add it into his scalp once I'm done braiding. I will forewarn that it is made out of all natural products, so you have like the residue of those things, uh, the products that are in there that it leaves behind. If I'm not going out with him on this day, I leave it alone and I just take away any excess that might still be on his scalp the following day. Um, but if I am leaving that day, I'll pick it out before I go out. But either way, this stuff is gold. Amazing. Love it. So a quick little peek at the heart and he's going to shake it out a little bit and we're going to get to the reveal. All right, guys, that is it. So this video is a little bit long. The style took a little bit of time, but it was definitely worth it. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed this style. It can be done with cornrows or without. It can be done with the heart or without. Whatever way you want to personalize it, it is up to you. Any questions, comments, concerns, please hit us up in that comment section. You know I always respond. You can also DM us on social media. I get back to you guys there as well. Thank you guys for the kind words, the pictures that you show us from us doing, from you doing our styles. It means the world to us. Follow us there. Share us. Keep coming back. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.